Hey everybody, this is Evan Abrams, and this is how to animate flourishes uh, quickly and cheaply. Um, if you're coming here from the last tutorial and that seemed, oh, that's a lot of work, Evan. Isn't there a way I can do that cheaper and with a lot less effort? And obvious answer is yes, there's always a way you can do things cheaper. We, we have this image, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw one path that goes from tip to tail as they say. I don't know who they are. I don't know why I said that. Um, but one path that goes from one end to the other covering as many points in between as we can. And try to keep it, try to keep it centered. Stay on target. Stay on target. Trust your instincts. And what else have I got? That's about it. So, and then just kind of loop around this, I suppose. Fill that in. So, you're probably thinking to yourself, Evan, that does not look very good. Uh, what are you going to do? So, we're going to use the... Uh, we're going to use the stroke, uh, generate stroke. So we're going to use this. Um, as you can see, this causes a white line to be drawn over pretty much anything. Um, so what you want to do is take the brush size here, crank that up, boop, until it covers all of the image. Uh, max is out at about 50, so you might have to move your points around a little bit to get total coverage but uh, it's possible. It's possible to get it. Okay, so we got it all covered. Um, now there are a few drawbacks to this technique that you'll see as we do it, but your paint style, not on original, it is reveal original image and brush hardness, crank that up, and next is to move the start or the end depending, so we want it to come on that way so crank this back to zero, put the end to zero, go to the start, make a keyframe, go forward however many frames you want this to last, and then put it on. Put it up to 100, and that's it. Run it back. Whoop. Hey, almost as good, right? Except when you get into parts like this, where it starts, because of having to expand the brush, we've had to create these little anomalies here like this. But sometimes that's at the end and it's fast enough that people don't notice. But that's how to animate flourishes on quick and dirty. If nobody's really paying too much attention, you can probably get away with this. It doesn't afford you the amount of control when you get into more detailed objects and images, but I mean, if you find rotoscoping tedious and you don't have an audio book to listen to, then this is a good way to do it. So I'm Evan Abrams, and this is a quick way to cheap out on animating flourishes and making embellishments. So have a good day, and I hope you had fun with this, and you didn't waste as much time listening to me talk. Have a good one.